Hi, welcome to Fit Interior, gone are the days when a decent laptop would cost you north of $1,000. It's now possible to pick up a full-size or ultra-portable Windows 10 notebook with a processor powerful enough for use at home, school, or work, for around $400 even at this COVID time. That said, in today's video we will take a look at some of the best laptops under $400, these laptops are featured based on performance, storage, and build quality, the link for all of the products we mention will be available in the description below. First in our list is the Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5, Chromebooks are a great alternative to Windows, if you can get all your work done using online services like Google Docs and other cloud services. Lenovo's Flex 5 gets its name from the fact that it's a versatile 2-in-1 convertible that works as a traditional clamshell laptop, tented for presentations or flipped around in tablet mode. In terms of build quality, this laptop comes with a sturdy 13-inch IPS touchscreen display. If you're not used to a screen that's small, it might feel a little claustrophobic, but it's actually typical of laptops in this price range. If you can live with the display, you'll be rewarded by a lightweight 2.4-pound system that is only 0.67 inches thick, ideal if you need to take it on the go frequently. Connectivity options include two USB Type-C port, one USB Type-A port, 3.5mm headphone microphone combo jack, a micro SD card, and Kensington security slot. Wireless connectivity options include a Wi-Fi 6 and a Bluetooth 5.0. In terms of performance, the highest-end configuration, which is an Intel Core i3-10110U processor. Even though it's just a slightly refined version of the 14nm Skylake mobile chips that Intel has been producing for the past five years, performance is still more than enough for Chrome OS. What isn't enough is the 4GB RAM that Lenovo includes on all configurations of the Flex 5. Chrome itself is memory-hungry enough on its own, but when you combine that with an always-running container for Android applications, the Flex 5 quickly runs out of RAM and has to dig into the disk swap space. Lenovo claims the Flex 5 has a 10-hour battery life, but just like with most laptop battery life estimates, that is wildly optimistic. Overall, if you want a convertible 2-in-1 laptop with a great build quality that you can use for light office computing and content consumption this is the laptop you should consider. If this particular model of the Acer, Aspire 5 looks familiar, it's probably because it's been sitting atop of most reviews and it has been one of the best sellers on most e-commerce sites. And it's easy to understand why. With a price below $350, this AMD Ryzen 3-powered Aspire 5 packs some enticing features for the price, including a full HD 15.6-inch backlit IPS display, a slim and trim chassis, and solid performance when it comes to day-to-day -day computing tasks. Budget laptops are notorious for being boxy and bulky, but Acer has done a nice job of making its Aspire 5 line look slim and sleek. This particular AMD model is no exception. Weighing just 3.1 pounds this model offers a slim form factor better than most models at this price point. The aluminum lid gives the Aspire a premium look. You can actually rotate the lid back a little beyond 180 degrees, meaning you can lay the laptop completely flat with the lid open. The 15.6-inch Full HD IPS display looks pretty similar to the screens we've seen on other Aspire 5 models, and that's a good thing. The screen is reasonably bright for a budget laptop. The backlit keyboard on this Aspire configuration is pretty much the same as on other configurations of this model. The keys themselves have a solid, responsive bump with a springy rebound, although travel is a little shallower. You also get a dedicated numeric keypad with a somewhat narrow design, which makes the keys look a bit squished. As with the trackpad on this laptop, you get a decent touchpad that will register any Windows gesture you make. The port selection on this budget Aspire's 5 model is fair. On the left side, you get a single USB 3.0 Type-A port, a USB 2.0 port, HDMI, Ethernet, and a combo audio jack, along with a barrel-shaped power port. On the right, there's only one more USB 2.0 port, plus a laptop security slot. Missing from the port party is a USB-C port, which we've seen on other Aspire 5 models, and would have been handy for connecting newer external storage devices and other peripherals. In terms of performance, you will not be using this laptop for gaming, 
or heavy tasks as it comes with a very small 4GB of RAM, enough for web browsing with a few tabs opened, or multitasking with a few office apps opened. That said adding $100 or more to this budget would get you a model configured with more RAM and processing speed. In terms of storage, this model houses a 128GB of solid-state drive with a faster data share and transfer speed. The battery life on this model is also good with the notebook lasting just over 7 hours and 20 minutes. You can't expect much in the way of gaming performance from a laptop with an integrated graphics core, however, you can be able to play some web-based games and less demanding arcade or 2D games. As for the operating system this model boasts a Windows 10 and S mode that you can freely update to Windows 10 Home, overall with a great build quality and relatively cheaper price among budget, this laptop is one of the best laptops you can get if you want a sturdy laptop that will last longer. The Gateway 14.1-inch Ultra Slim Notebook is an attempt at a solid all-around laptop for a cheap price. The Gateway offers solid performance, thanks to its 10th Gen Core i5 CPU, a colorful design, and a decent pair of speakers. However, its flimsy chassis, dual 14.1-inch display, cheap touchpad, and short battery life all kill the value. But if all you care about is performance at a cheap price, then the Gateway 14.1-inch Ultra Slim Notebook might work for you. Speaking of performance, this system is powered by an Intel Core i5 with a generous 16GB of RAM and 256GB of solid-state drive. On top of all that, it has THX certified audio and a fingerprint scanner for biometric security. This combination is not expected especially under $400, in addition, this machine runs on Windows 10 home operating system out of the box, Gateway claims the battery life on this 14-inch device would last 10 hours, although that's far from the truth you can be able to get more than 7.5 hours of battery life on a standard load. Typing on the Gateway 14.1-inch Ultra Slim Notebook's keyboard was okay. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. The keys are shallow and huge, but clicky and punchy. The touchpad on this device feels and acts cheap. The material resists motion against finger, and when attempting Windows 10 gestures, like two-finger scrolling or three-finger tabbing, the cursor occasionally jumps, thus making for an unpleasant touchpad experience. In terms of connectivity, on the left side, there's a security lock slot, the power jack, one USB Type-A port, an HDMI port, and one USB Type-C port, while the right side features one USB Type-A port, a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. Overall if you're looking for the best performance for the cheapest price possible regardless of the sacrifices then this is the laptop for you. If you want the best laptop for light gaming and work under $400 Lenovo Idea Pad 3 is the best option. Packing an excellent 14-inch display a comfortable keyboard and a solid durable chassis, Lenovo Idea Pad 3 is built to impress, it also offers the kind of performance you can only found on more expensive laptop, and that makes it a top contender among budget. While it's not ThinkPad good, but you will still enjoy the ThinkPad's keyboard, the well-curved chiclet style keys are well-sized and responsive, the 1.4mm key travel is short, but still much better than the keyboard on competing devices, the keyboard is not backlit, but that far from being a standard feature on budget laptops, the touchpad is also quite responsive, you will not have any problem executing Windows 10 gestures, like pinch to zoom and three finger swipes when switching windows. Talking about the connectivity, Lenovo Idapad 3 offer 1 USB Type-A 2.0 ports, 2 USB Type-A 3.0 port, an HDMI port, an SD card reader, and a combo headphone microphone jack. Unfortunately, this laptop doesn't offer a USB Type-C port. In terms of performance, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is powered by the i5-1035G1 it gives equal or better performance to some of the previous Gen Core i5 processors. On the graphics end of the game, Intel UHD Graphics G1 is very capable of handling most of them, however when it comes to much heavier workloads such as 3D rendering the UHD Graphics G1 is not a good solution. The Intel UHD G1 graphics should be able to handle most modern games that are not very graphic demanding such as League of Legends, Dota 2, Minecraft, CSGO, GTA 5, and Fortnite at low settings. The IdeaPad 3 comes with pre-installed Windows 10 Home in S mode. 
every buyer should consider a free upgrade to Windows 10 Home. Otherwise, only applications from the Microsoft Store can be used. There's absolutely no doubt that the Asus VivoBook 15 is among the best budget laptops in the market. The trend among notebooks in recent years has been moving towards the premise of less is more, with ultra portables getting insanely smaller, thinner and lighter. And the VivoBook 15 from Asus takes that direction at a very reasonable price. In addition to the good design, it also satisfies a few other needs like a cool big screen to play with for instance, whether you need some for working from home, or a laptop for number crunching spreadsheets at the office, or just watching your favorite show on Netflix, the Asus VivoBook 15 is a great partner with its large bright 15.6 inch display. Combine that with a fairly slim design that we can say is quite portable and solid 10th gen processor performance, and you have an ace in your hand without having to spend too much. The Intel Core i3 1005G1 processor paired with 8GB of RAM doesn't sound impressive, but the laptop loaded up two dozen Google Chrome tabs, including two YouTube videos running at 1080p and a pair of Twitch streams without a stutter. Obviously, you aren't picking up the VivoBook 15 for gaming, but when it comes to simultaneously handling an array of web tasks and apps, you shouldn't have any issues. The VivoBook 15's boasts a 128GB of SSD with a good data transfer rate of 177 megabytes per second. The Intel UHD graphics of the VivoBook 15 aren't going to have you playing any remotely demanding games. But you can be able to play less demanding games like Minecraft and PUBG and other web-based games with ease. In terms of battery life this device can last up to 6 hours with less demanding tasks. In addition, the VivoBook 15 ships in Windows 10 S mode, but switching to full Windows 10 is free and easy if you want to be able to install non-Windows Store apps. Just be aware that once you switch over, there is no going back to S mode. The VivoBook 15 Island-style keyboard offers a very comfortable typing experience, made possible by tactile keys and an innovative ergolift elevated hinge that makes up for faults like shallow key travel. The keyboard has 1mm of travel, but gets rather shallow keys for a 15-inch laptop. Its individual keys are generously spaced, apart from a slightly undersized numpad and low travel. Below the keyboard is a 4.1 by 2.8 inch touchpad that's spacious, quick and responsive to Windows 10 gestures. The port peripherals on the other hand are a combination of both newer and legacy options that include, on the left side, there is two USB 2.0 ports, a micro SD card slot, and an LED indicators for charging and battery status. On the right side, there's a DC jack, a USB 3.1 port, an HDMI port, a USB Type-C port alongside a headphone mic combo jack. Overall, the Asus VivoBook 15F512JAAS34 still provides good value for money for anyone that's shopping for a large-screen laptop for home, college, or the office.